Alright, um, this is the tutorial on how to make a lightsaber using Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion 2. So to get started, um, find your, import your file. You should probably know this already, so yeah, just import your file in Final Cut. Load into the viewer. There's a Batman Begins clip right here, so. I'll use... Change this to fit to all. That for right now. Let's get the gist of it going. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're going to control or right click on the clip in the timeline. Send to motion project. Name that light, this name whatever, lightsaber, I guess. Launch the launch motion. Started, you're gonna make a mask. Oh, no, no, this is the first step. Sorry. Um, first step is go to library, library, content, basic white, basic white dot psd. Drag that to the viewer area or whatever, and drag drag so it fits. Drag, drag the white square so it takes up the whole entire square. So yeah, let's do this. All right, next thing you want to do is go to Window Layers, then click on the white square, then click on the mass mass tool right here. You draw four points. One, two, three, four. And the last point with the other one, making a rectangle. Make a rectangle like this, pretty much, and just drag into the four corners with the sword or whatever you're using for a lightsaber. Well, just like that. I right, know we're gonna go to inspector. And add a this is I like that this big sure it's on the right part of the sword, I guess. And do a feather. Feather play around with the feather a bit. Put that about around like uh, around like twelve. I guess tell folks good idea. Put that around like twelve. The mass feather on twelve. And then you to go to the white square and apply a f go to add filter. Color correction, color balance. And then you're gonna want to just play around, like, in order to get like a red lightsaber and stuff, you go all this highlight to red, all the others up to red and stuff, shadow red, then leave the rest down to zero and play around with it.
Just play around with this little fist, play around with the mask and the feather for a little bit. Nice space for your lightsaber right there, the core lightsaber or whatever. Now I'll talk about rotoscoping. It's pretty easy and it's pretty easy but not really easy, but it's about time against me, I guess you can call it. So this what I wanna do is gonna want to press this record button thing right here. What this button does is tying motion. Whenever you go to forward a frame or a couple of frames, you want to whenever you move a keyframe and stuff, clear the mask. Try the four corners back to where they were. Just keep doing that. Some more scoping teeth than others and stuff, just be warned. Like some of them can be really blurred out and it's like motion blurred and stuff. Just keep doing that until you have a nice little a nice little lightsaber rotoscoping effect right there. Just keep doing that. Like I said before, it's like more time consuming than it is like hard and stuff. So yeah, Just keep doing it. So you got it right. And that looks really good right now. All right, and there is your lightsaber. Now we're gonna go to files. Save, of course. You want to back to Final Cut Pro to see what it looks like. Render that.